Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the channel. Today, as you can see from the thumbnail, we're back with the Abarth. The tail lights that I have ordered eight weeks ago, yeah, two months ago, are finally in. They came in from England. MS Racing, these are the plug and play series four tail lights. And if you guys recall, if you guys are familiar with the channel, you know that I had issues with the tail lights where it just wouldn't work at all, no matter what bulb I put inside the Abarth. So I'll. I'll quickly show you that clip here. Okay, I'm gonna try to explain this. So I thought it was just a light bulb that was out. So I tried the bulb on there and I go to hit the brakes and nothing happens. So then I wanted to test the bulb to make sure it was okay. So I switched it out for the one here and I basically swapped them. And guess what? The new bulb did work here, but it did not work there. So I decided to go check a couple of fuses in there, check the fuses, they were fine. I even swapped the two fuses that are for braking and guess what? The same exact thing was happening. So then I tried something else. I decided I'm gonna take this plate and I'm gonna put that plate there and that plate there and basically swap them <laughs> I should have just said that and when I swapped them even weirder the when I had the lights on neither one of them worked but when I braked they both worked so on a side where the brake light wasn't working at all all of a sudden when I swapped the plates they both worked but they wouldn't turn on the lights like if I had the headlights on they wouldn't work so that's really really weird and now you know like what the issue is so I'm hoping that just throwing these new tail lights on will fix the problem. If it doesn't, then we got a really big problem and I'll have to take it to our friend Alpha Technician out in Burley Game to see if he can fix it. So crossing fingers, let's see, let's get this package open. And by the way, yeah, we are not yet moved into the new house. So yeah, I'm in the in-laws garage at the moment and we'll see the packaging. Okay, got a MS Racing sticker there with a, an Abarth on there, a business card, probably some kind of information, some thank you letter and probably a receipt of some sort. All right, we'll quickly see in here. Nice wrapping and then a box within a box. All right, there's two boxes within the box, left and right. Okay, I need both hands. Okay, got both boxes out. You know what, let's get the Abarth a little bit closer and we'll start working on this. First off, she is filthy. I was thinking I should have washed it first before switching out the taillights. Uh, but yeah, time is of essence. Damn, big words. Okay, so I'm gonna switch out the problem light first and see how that works and do a comparison and then go from there. Should be a very easy install and not a tutorial. We'll just, I'll just kind of point out what I'm doing, kind of. All right, basically, yeah, a couple screws here. I believe these are tens, or you could just go Phillips and either way, and then just this just kind of pops out on this end, and then I'll show you the guts. All right, before taking that tail light out, I wanted to show you the back of the new one, and look, it says plug and play, and that shows me right there that, yeah, that's the only thing I need to plug, so it should be plug and play. Uh, should be no errors as well. It has this, ooh, that was squeaky, little protection there. I opted to go without placing, because in here in the middle, if you guys are familiar with the Abarth, and a lot of people have this either carbon fiber or to match the paint color. Mine is made of dirt. I just opted to just stay with the red to save a little money. Either I can get creative with this center part or buy the matching or carbon fiber at a later time. So for now, this will work. Show you guys, there's a stock. It looks a lot like a Mini Cooper versus this one right here, all LED. Yeah, let's throw it on. All right, again, yeah, a couple of screws. I use the Phillips instead of the 10. And then that these are just like some kind of rubber. No, actually it's not rubber, but these little nipple things uh, just go right in there and then this just unplugs that should plug in and it should work so crossing fingers if it doesn't work i think i may know what else might be wrong whoa did that sentence even make sense okay that just a little bit of pressure on that clip to get it off of there and i actually ended up just using the phillips you could use a flathead or something and it wiggles right off i almost said it comes right off it wiggles right off oh yeah she's a working that is a great sign the light is on that's what we want to see and now i just gotta try let's see let's try the signals and then the other thing that wasn't working was the the brake the brake light 
So I will have to actually use the camera in order to indicate if the brake light is working. Uh, let's do that real quick. Yeah, okay, everything's working fine. I checked the video footage and yeah, the brake lights do work. The turn signals are working. Uh, the only other thing I would have to check is uh, the reverse, which is not as important. Where the hell is the reverse anyways? That's the blinker. What the, huh? <laughs> Unless the reverse is in here too, which would be very interesting. Yay! The tail light is in. Let's do this. Oh, wow. Look how shiny that is. Ooh, man, I thought we were going to have fitment issues. I mean, who knows? Maybe we do. Because uh, it, it doesn't glide in as easy as the stock one does. But it does fit. Like, once you get everything kind of aligned perfectly, then it goes in. The other one, I feel like it has, like, some wiggle room, if that makes sense. But, yeah, I love how this looks compared to this one. Just because this one gives, no offense, but it gives Mini Cooper vibes. There's nothing wrong with Mini Cooper at all. It's just that I bought an Abart, so... This looks a lot more modern. This is basically exactly like the newer version, the Abarts, that we don't get in the United States. So this is beautiful. Give you a look, left and right. Let's get a look with the tailgate down. There we go. Again, she is filthy, but you get the idea. This is how nice it looks. I don't know, in my opinion, I think the, the new site looks very nice, very clean. And again, I can always update this to be color matched in the middle right here or carbon fiber or i was thinking of getting a little creative and doing like some wild stickers like a bunch of different stickers that uh, fill this up that's just an idea it depends what i do with the car overall yeah move on to that one and whoa finish her up also wanted to show you guys oreo and brownie jr uh, their mom is named brownie or I, I named her brownie so that's brownie jr on the left and oreo on the right they're not our cats they're the they're the outdoor cats <laughs> here, here are my in-laws so yeah not not technically our cats um, but we are taking care of them somehow and yeah their mom was somewhere oh <laughs> she's under the car over there <laughs> yeah they probably want food they always want food anyways the tail lights they are done so happy they are working the way they're supposed to i still gotta try that reverse to see what that looks like <laughs> just wanted to share some thoughts of MS Racing who was the company I bought it from obviously the product came in good condition it works there's no errors it's it does what it's supposed to do it looks beautiful everything as as advertised now when I did order it it did say it would take up to six weeks it took eight weeks for it to come in which you know in these times things happen right so once he did actually ship it it didn't take too long to come in which is which is pretty impressive coming all the way from england the issue only issue i had is that even though i knew it would take more than a month for it to come in i one i didn't expect it to come in an extra two weeks after so two months really there was no communication on their end as far as like hey it's going to be delayed or you know just a heads up whatever nothing like that i and in fact when i emailed hey do you have at least a tracking an update anything i would have to email multiple times i'm not gonna say how many times i had to email a lot of times in order to get any response when i did get a response it was um, you know it was okay so but just that if, if you guys are going to order from ms racing you're going to get what you want but you're going to wait a long time and the communication you're going to feel like am i being scammed so um, no, you're not going to be scammed. Uh, I've heard nothing but good things from my friend Michael over here who in the States who has an abart about Mike who is in the other side of the pond. I've been saying other side of the pond a lot lately. Um, but yeah, again, great product. I, I heard he's a good person. Just the communication and the, the timing of everything. Uh, if you're the type of person like me who I'm expecting communication, I'm expecting tracking numbers, uh, I'm expecting if I email you, you're going to email me back right away. Uh, if you're that type of person, yeah, you're going to you're going to be worried. And so I would say, yeah, be patient. If you do order from them, be patient. And yeah, don't expect quick communication. But the product, you'll be happy. So 
that's that's all i got for that that's all i got for today more updates on the abart to come soon especially now that the house is done some garage content to come soon as well anywho yeah if you guys want to buy me a cup of coffee i don't have coffee today but shout out to my cousin noel i know he has purchased me another coffee that i haven't yet actually purchased so shout out to you that's coming soon i also got two coffees from a person who said my cousin in norcal so i'm wondering is that you know but with a different name i'm not sure so uh i got three more coffees to come as of now that i haven't yet purchased but shout out to you guys it's coming soon uh, the coffee and if you guys want to buy me a cup of coffee the link is always down in the description uh, but that's gonna be it and i'll talk to you guys later